Oh great! I'm trying to I'm trying to set my lights back to white. <laughs> so you're having a disco while it's going on. Yeah. Good afternoon, everybody. Happy Friday, and um, that is it. That's a wrap. I'm going to go back. <laughs> uh, no, I thought we'd talk about. Obviously, we've been talking about doing the um the raffle and stuff for the group, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And uh, there's been a few more. Or not, I wouldn't say reveals, but. <laughs> Uh, photos of official photos upcoming, finally. Yeah, of upcoming figures um, that just cements it in our minds that we're not going to get them. So we're going to go over them as well. <laughs> you liked them. Um, uh, yeah. Well, Spider Punk's the only one that I'm like, well, I don't know, I want the guitar. <laughs> That's all I want it for is the guitar. I wonder how big it is. It looks, I don't know. I'm not even bothered. Um, <clears throat> what was the other thing as well? What was the Star Wars release? Pike. The Pike, yeah. Um, that's, I think I've got that here. That's actually out of a, so it's out of a figure four wave. So there's four figures in the wave. So it's a Tuscan, a Pike. Um, and then we've got to think of what other ones it's going to be as well, which is a discussion. Yeah, I was trying to, that was on um, Yak Face. I'm just trying to pull that up now. Yeah, um, yeah, I thought it's a strange wave, really, isn't it? It's like kind of man, well, Bobber and Mandalorian. Yeah, so who haven't they done so far out of Boba, Look at Boba really? Fett. Boba Fett, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they still haven't like we got Andor, we've got Andor's arranged sort of like ex girlfriend and Mon Mothma's twice removed cousin, but we don't have Boba Fett from Book of Boba Fett. So I'll get the pike up now if we're going to talk about that. Yeah, I did pike first. Get him out of the way. Little pikey. No, you're not meant to say that. Oh, I was, I was, I was. I was trying not to say that, <laughs> <laughs> but Steve did it. <laughs> um, right. Here he is. He looks pretty cool. Um, I actually quite like uh, that. There's three of them there. Yeah. I think they look pretty cool. You know, like I wouldn't army build them, but I think three of them together looks pretty cool. I like the sniper he comes with as well. I was in the neighbourhood, so I decided to drop in. He didn't ring the doorbell, so can't come in. No, he's just looking through the window. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, he's got one, mate. Welcome, Jacob. Yeah, going well, mate. Going well. Um, yeah, just a bit tired today. Really tired. How are you're you? Always doing? tired. Every time we do a live stream, you're I'm tired. Old. Oh, oh <laughs> hang on. I have never cancelled a live stream because I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> I have. How many? <laughs> I can't do it. I'm tired. Yeah. <laughs> but so are they coming out? Is it one figure with those accessories or is it two or three? It's one figure. So it comes with a rifle and a blaster. Well, that's different. At least it comes with two guns. It is, <laughs> yeah. And it looks like it's got that's two trigger hands. Unless he's mirrored. They, they may be mirrored him. Uh, they probably have. Because <laughs> uh no they haven't. So if you look at the rifle, uh it's actually got a trigger hand there as well on the oh, barrel. Yeah. So yeah, so there you go. It has a blaster. And, and, but the uh, same with normal Star Wars Black series, isn't it? It's like boring colours. Yeah. And the thing it's is with, with them as well, they need a bit of a, a black wash or a bit of weathering over the top of it because otherwise it just looks like mm. a plastic tabard that's gone over the top of them the net light but it does look good they have done a good sculpt there so yeah not a bad one for once yeah it looks it's not, right. not from andor 
anything not handle. Um, I was trying to find like picture. All right, so these are the two that are going to be in the wave. Yeah, yeah. So talk There's about these. There. Oh yeah, the biker gang next. Hopefully, <laughs> 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 the cynical Star Wars fan. Um, <laughs> I don't understand why it's eight individually packaged, two times two of each. Yeah, so it's a, a carton, like a box, that goes to Walmart, and inside that box will be two of two of two of two. Why can't I just... Oh, okay. So... It's just a stock Bike box. again? You're thinking the main main lady from the bike again? Maybe. I mean, Black Kazantan, Kazantian, Kazantan, I don't know, has been confirmed that he's coming. But Vince, I don't think he'll be in this one because this looks like they're doing a wave of like background yeah, and, and he will be a big figure, won't he? He'll be a wrecker. He will be thirty nine, ninety nine, or whatever. Yeah, you think? Or they'll just you know, dish yeah. out the one they've and already it done. Of, it won't be an actual book of Boba Fett because they always class Boba Fett as a deluxe as well. Mm. So it could be. I mean, it's this is both. It must be all book of Boba Fett. What do you reckon? I'd say the same. Yeah. Because, I mean, it'd be weird mixing. I mean, you could mix Mandalorian and book of Boba Fett together. You could do. But, but I don't they're, think they would. both been. I mean, this is a bit weird as well, because this isn't this the Cad Mando, <coughs> Mando Tuesdays or something stupid like that, isn't it? Mm. Could be Cad Bane. It could be they could be doing the other Tuscan as well because the vintage collection have introduced the other Tuscan warrior, and then they've also released a Tuscan five pack that includes mm. the Tuscan chieftain. So they are getting both in the vintage collection. So we... they always seem to get more, do you know what I mean? In yeah, vintage they always, collection, they always, they always get all the better clones and stuff, and then you get say vintage collection, like <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Look what you're getting. Look what we got. A bloody reused bloody Luke Skywalker. Like. Brilliant. <laughs> but it's, I mean, by the looks of it, they're doing background characters here. So. Yeah. I mean, what I've, I mean, I did say that 88 droid, that would be pretty cool. You know, like his little robot yeah. guy in just as, uh, in Jabba's palace. Maybe the Twilic. <laughs> Or we'll just get, we'll just get the back to tank. <laughs> That'd yeah. be it. With his toe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a builder toe. Yeah, that was, that was <laughs> disgusting, that toe. Christ. <laughs> Bubba Fit. Bubba Fit. You think they will uh, put... Dr. Pershing. Oh, I thought, I thought I was reading it as Perishing. I was like, what? Dr. Pershing in it. Maybe. I mean... I mean, if they did, they would definitely reuse uh, this chap for him. Hello. Definitely. That, that, it, it'd be that figure, if they did. Um, with a different head. Well, obviously... Yeah. Well, they're just giving. I'm just saying that figure with a different him. head. Yeah, we've got glasses on him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's screw his hair out. Like, like Clint, they're like, oh my god, it's it's Doctor Pershing. Take it off. Oh my god, it's Urso. But um, yeah, maybe. I mean, it would be quite cool to get Doctor Pershing, but I'd be more interested in now if they brought the figure out now. I don't think I'd be more inclined to pick it up. I want to know where his character's going. Yeah, not just I. Uh... <sighs> Because if I don't it's want just to be one of those characters that just gets killed gone, off, yeah, I'm not interested. Yeah, you know, so because I reckon they could the woman as well. What's her name? The ex imperial fat boy, huh? Fat boy from EastEnders, but is is that's I reckon they'd do her as well, yeah. Um, if they did Persian, I reckon that's Omega. Hi. Did you? Is that what you thought? Hmm. Hmm. 
I reckon um, um, there's a link there's between them. Most of the demand character list leads are anywhere, and people were still not satisfied. They, I mean, yeah, they get. I mean, they even got uh, Darth Maul, didn't they, from season seven first? And the thing is, they actually yeah. look like the figures. They actually look like the character as well. Yeah. More detail and everything on there. You I know, saw... and then Black Series might get. I mean, they even got the book of Boba Fett figure as well. Like, no, these are all Vince collection. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you got the Chieftain there, which is one at the front. Yeah. So. You know, I think maybe the Warrior, the Tuscan Warrior, we might get for the Black Series. Um, one. They just get, they just get loads. I... <laughs> yeah. Another clone. Oh, we don't know. Yeah. Um, but all these clones, if they was did six, like did them in six inch, they'd be brilliant. Yeah. Shame. That's done. what I said. You know, they should just bring out called like the Republic. You're mm. going to get the Darth Vader at celebration next week. Oh, I haven't seen it. Where is it? Oh, that yeah. one. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like I did see it. I did Vader. see it. Yeah. It's it's like a kid when they're like five. I got Darth Vader. I'm going to chuck him in the barbecue after Dad's used it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know I what they're going, for. they're going for the reminiscence of the the poster of Return of the Jedi. That's what they're saying, but I did, yeah, I did see it. Yeah. It just looks too much. I think I rather would have Cell Revenge Shades of the Jedi figure. rather than it coated in a weird color. If they'd done the cell shading on the helmet like a shine, I think it'll probably look better. But it literally looks like it's been rubbed in, sort of like brick. It looks, yeah, it just looks but, like a bad dry brush. Yeah. Yeah, um, I, I did see it. Barbecue Vader, yeah. <laughs> uh, says Revenge of the Jedi on the box. <laughs> yeah, well, it's supposed to be because it's that's the original yeah. thing, wasn't it? Uh, the Tuscan 4 pack looks really good. It does, if you like, 3.75. What's this? Um, what's that saying? Archive. Arch yeah, archive collection, Star Wars, and that says Regal Robot. Regal Robot, they're like a clothing stuff, aren't they? Mm, don't know. I don't think they bring out any archives this year because they've normally when there's an anniversary, they don't do archive. Because obviously they're all like oh, they're really statues. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, no thank you. But that's that one. Anyway. Um and then shall we just go on to the Marvel Legends, get that out of the way, because I'm bored. I'm bored of Marvel Legends now. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. I'll do that while we're on cam, actually. There's what? a on um Hasbro Pulse, there's a sale, I think. A sale? What will you get like one pound off? If you spend ninety pound, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, I know, you know, the Black Panther figure. It's gone down to twelve pounds. Oh, what the white one? Well, this is what I'm looking for. It's the, the actual Black Panther one has gone down to about thirteen quid. Um, these Dungeons and Dragons things. <laughs> Jesus! They had them in uh, nerd base, and they just look even worse. You know, they just look. I mean, the, the good thing what they'd be good for if you do a Star Wars diorama and they went down really cheap, and you wanted figures in your background for your tattooing. Mm. Brilliant. You know, but you have to be really into a uh, like. Dungeons and Dragons the, together. The film isn't supposed to be too bad, I heard. But... No, yeah. It's, it's out now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, looks like Vader was rolling on the surface of Crate, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so while right. you're doing that... Go on, then. I'm just going to browse. Um... <laughs> 
I mean, this one looks like it's just a triangle with a head. Um, that's all you can really say with that one. It's a work. I've never seen a sculpt like it. I mean, the thing is, you can't really blame it on Hasbro because that's the look of the figures. But they actually look like re cheap re toys. You know, yeah, you know. I mean, I think it's on this Mr. Steve's thing anyway. But they've cancelled the Marvel Legends retro, haven't they? And they're mm. bringing out some new Spider-Man Av Avengers kind of figures at five inch. Um, oh, it's not in the sale. Where did I? Oh, I'll put that out. I'll have to look up for it. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> a live collapse in there, you go. Oh my god, can you imagine? Just like boom, <laughs> get wiped out. Um, yeah, so there's if you go back off his page, there's um, on his thing, there's some new ones coming out that they're bringing out, and they just look goddamn awful. And that's what these figures look like, they look cheap. You know, we're almost like, it? oh, it'll go down a little bit more. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. So that's some of them. Yeah, that's some of them. They're, they're the Avenger versions. And then they're the some... Mech Strike ones, aren't they? No, no. Um, and they, there's a the Spider Man ones with that Venom. What? What are they? So they're these new five inch figures coming out aimed at, at kids, but it kind of looks like that plastic, you know, where it's like you hold it up to the sun and you probably could see through it, you know, that kind of yeah. like cheap, cheap plastic. And that's what these Marvel Legends ones are bringing out look like these, like they look like they're literally off the same line. But I know you can't blame Hasbro because that's obviously the sculpt of the figures, mm. but. Maybe it's the paint apps on them. They just look really cheap. I think, yeah, I think the, the out of the bunch, Gwen's probably the best one. Yeah. But even, I think, even though Spider Head, you know, when she's got the hood on, it looks just awful. Like this, it needs to be more, but this would be all right if it was bulky. Mm. It's too skinny. But yeah, but it's, that's how they're designed in the film, though, isn't it? I know, but that's the problem. They don't yeah. translate into figures. It just yeah. looks like they'd snap. I mean, she's not skinny, Jesus. But like <laughs> the others, uh... share the pies. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that the, that's <laughs> that Spider Man in the background is awful. Mm. Like, yeah, there you go. That John said it. And this and this uh, Miles. I don't know why I'm pointing at it, but yeah, you always do that. All the figures. I like the texture on him, mm. um, but it looks like it's all made of different plastic. It yeah. just looks really weird. I think he looks the best out of all of them. Mm. You know, it's annoying that the Spider-Man is literally the same Spider-Man we've had before with the grey trackies on again. Yeah, just without a coat. <laughs> yeah, there's no builder figure. And then all he got is that giant Spider-Woman mm. thing. That um phase two you should promote the discord in facebook I already have i posted it today I've changed it to toy photography uk one well. uh without consulting me huh what i already had the discord didn't i so <laughs> i thought i might as well just change it um i had someone else up here as well but i've gone where it is trying to find it it was like a really good um, there's a toy shit, isn't it? At the um, pretty good, or uh, or Hasbro, this, you got the new. I, uh... was, I sent it to there, there it is. Right, this I actually think that looks pretty cool, there, don't you? No, do you not? <laughs> no. I think it looks like a beast. I quite like it. Oh, you like all those spike things and stuff, like, didn't you? Like, yeah, like heavy metal type. But to me, it just looks like Sid's got older from that, Toy Story. That too. is going to go. That is going to go in my like heavy metal kind of photos. I do. 
Mm. I'll definitely get that. I think Jessica Jew is supposed to be pregnant in the movie. That's the belly. If so, I think Child Protective Services will pay her a visit. <laughs> she can't be pregnant, really, is she? Maybe. She can't be I jumping mean, about. It, I mean, it, it could be like a real spider, you know, where they come, the babies come out and eat the mum. It's got to be a right gruesome movie. <laughs> <They'll>... <laughs> come out <and> like... <laughs> and this just looks like a 50-year-old a man in a, in a uh, morph suit. <laughs> yeah, it looks like they've just like... Re... What's that guy from Minions? And they're just like re-skinned him. Yeah, or Dr. Eggman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks awful. And yeah. that, that Spider Man thing, I mean, you could do some good photos with that. Yeah. With that there. Because <laughs> of <laughs> how high it is. <laughs> but, it's kind of like someone's arsehole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but other than that, it's awful. <clears throat> I mean, it's just, it's just a white figure. And this one, that that's disappointing. You just want the guitar. I just want the guitar. If that was bulkier, then I'd get it. And that's just, yeah. Oh yeah, she could be pregnant. Could be, right. but you can't assume. No, no, could, yeah, she, she might just be on the beard. You can't even assume that it's Spider Woman. It could even be a Spider them or Spider he. Yeah, it could be Sam Smith. Yeah, <laughs> <A> Spider. Is <laughs> it Spider them? Yeah, Spider them. A spider them. Yeah. Spider them. Yeah, yeah, that's them. Um, that's it. Um, oh, it so is the other Iron out... Man that's coming out in there. Oh, yeah. That, we already went through that, though, when it was announced, didn't we? Did we? Maybe. Yeah. The metal, the metal one. Yeah, the it? full metal Avengers mm. 1. Full metal jacket. Yeah. Um. So, should we talk about the group and or your ideas for raffles? Yeah. So, obviously, this is for the, the Toy Photography UK. Um, so basically, I'm thinking when we get to a hundred members, which isn't too far away now, how many members we got? I've got 85 now, so 85 <laughs> members. Um, so yeah, I'm thinking about doing raffles, um, where the members will pay depending how many people want to want to do it. Um, because I know obviously money is quite tight, but just put in a pound or two pounds down for a ticket. Um, and if 20 people do it or whatever, that will go in a kitty. Um, and then whoever wins will win a figure for how much ever they put into the, the draw. Mm. Um, and then obviously what whoever puts in, I know it says only a figure back, but then in the kitty, we'll have more money. Mm. Um, so then when we do these... Channel, up. Yeah, so that would be that part. And that will kind of support what we all do with the page as well. Um, so then when we go into doing other things where we do like uh, the challenges, like this week is Quest. So it gives people a bit of inspiration, doesn't it? Like we sit there sometimes with creative block, like I want to do a picture yeah. and I can't, I don't know what I want to do with the picture. So if we're giving people just a certain word that would make their brain tick to go off and uh, and to be creative and they can post as many think, as they like during the main... week. The main thing about the challenges is it's not about winning it. It's about kind of giving you that idea to go, yeah. right, I was stuck this week. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do party. I'm going to do quest yeah. or it, next it, one. It, it's taking part. And it's all, It's also we're looking at it as well, not kind of like, you know, there's people out there that are fantastic photographers. They'll go out and do a picture, you know, you know, and there's, there'd be people that are like new who go, oh, I can't compete. I can't. There's no, I can't. but it's just using what you've got and the concept and the idea is what creates it to make the better, the better picture. So what we're going to be doing each week for the challenge, through doing the challenges and whoever gets the best kind of like picture that we, we, we look at and go, yeah, I think this one is deserved winning of this week. So each month we'll be getting four four challenge winners by the end of the week, you know, because mm. and then those four then will go into a draw on their own. They don't have to pay any money because the money comes from the other kind of raffles and stuff. And then that goes into their 
uh, and then they are in a chance just to win at one out of four uh, a free figure as well so yeah and i was thinking you know each week obviously you're going to have someone winning it a challenge mm -hmm. um I think if they've already entered into the raffle, so they've already paid towards it, they can get an extra slot. Yeah. Um, if they're that, if they're the challenge winner, sort of thing, but they'll still at the end of the month go into a separate kind of draw, I guess. For um, if we have a money pot uh, left over, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's as I said, it's not like it's not about kind of winning you know you've got some people some people in this group are absolutely amazing photographers it's not about competing with them mm -hmm. it's about getting inspiration from them i mean yeah. we've had right i say dario jedi journal one of the best photographers we've got in the group but he hasn't won the challenge he hasn't won a challenge he hasn't do you know what i mean so it's mm. it's not about how amazing your photo is about yeah. you know well, what the you thing put is, into it you just got what you got i mean look how many times i've just taken pictures on myself and sometimes i think mm. oh you know that, that's a really good photo like the posing you just work with what you got you know and you just and the thing is is sometimes i mean you look at when we for or even when i for your first toy photography photos you see it yourself and my one was posing obi-wan kenobi like just like yeah not even thinking that his legs move you know it's just kind of like oh he's in the cool little lightsaber thing and then the more you do it the more you kind of realize actually if i twist the lightsaber not at the camera but just a little bit away it kind of brings in you get that field of depth and stuff so there's a lot of things that you can learn and the more you do it you know the more you're in challenge and um, you know, even what's his name his his bro he does like those balancing things and some of the posing yeah. and stuff on those and it's just a simple on his kitchen top you know they look really cool so i mean there's those different styles in there like i mean i'm gonna go through them anyway like i always do um i don't want to try and click there um but we've got a mixture in there like um we won't go through quest we've got 10 photos at the moment in quest and so but as you can see like each of the features they're different styles i mean you've got dioramas in it and then you've got these ones that are just simple kind of setups with a screen yeah. behind. It's you know, it's not about how amazing like this is one of Dario's ones, but it's like it's we've got such a mixture of photographers in here. Mm. It's and like, they're different uh, toys as yeah. well. Hot toys, you got oh yeah, you've got everything in there. Like sometimes I'm like, is is that even a toy? Do you know what I mean? That yeah, hunter he's one. Like, he's just taking it yeah. out of a magazine. <laughs> but um yeah you look at some of these and you think oh man like i couldn't ever do that but like three shots free has won has been featured what three or four times now yeah simple setup that they're doing it's not you know you're not having to travel like miles to go and get a I'm going up for five five yeah. hour hike like i did yeah it's it's not about that it's, i didn't um... win a challenge for that <laughs> I only opened two eggs on pokemon as well <laughs> but you can't yeah it's not about that you know what i mean it's it's because mm. we've had a few people currently saying like oh i can't compete with like I some of the people it. yeah it, and it, it is literally a community of that and that's as i even said to one of the guys it's not about trying it's about asking ask them how do you achieve it you know like just try and go and recreate it you know, sometimes when I go through um, Instagram, I, I sometimes save. I go, oh, I really like that pose. So I think, like, I'm going to try that pose, but obviously do my own kind of thing on it. So, so Quest. I'm on Quest. This is what we've currently got so far. And, um, like, we've got simple photos. I mean, yeah. like, has in Shame the gym. Yeah, in the gym, simple do you know what I mean? But it's that's different to uh, I don't know one of Rob's ones that looks like a movie still. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah. You, you've got loads of different um, different styles and that, and so it doesn't matter how much editing you put into a photo. It doesn't mean you're not going to get featured. 
uh, or you're not going to win a challenge because that's not what we look at. It's you know how much effort you've kind of put into doing it. Yeah, and obviously we know your your sort of ways of doing things and posing and whatnot. You know, it all adds adds to it. You know, you could go out for a five mile hike and put a figure in the next to a tree because people think, oh, it, it's really good photography. But if you just put the figure just standing there, just like <laughs> he's just standing there, it's, it's not going to do anything. You know, you've got to build it all up, you know. And if someone's putting on a shelf with a figure in a really fantastic pose that's balancing another figure, like holding him up, then, you know. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. It's like, you know, it's not just, right, I'm going to pose it really cool. I'm going to do all these effects around it, all these physical effects and stuff. Yeah, you can do that and you can make an amazing photo, but then is that as much effort as someone that's and I we know how hard it is to pose some of these figures <laughs> to balance figures like it was it was Hasbiz, wasn't it? Yeah. He, he, who literally balanced I don't know how he did it. Three figures on something. But three figures on each other. I mean, the patience in that, I'd have ended up launching them out the window. <laughs> you know? it, was, it was even like Luke, Dagobah Luke, where I had to do um, him doing a handstand for the review. Mm. And I was like, it took me uh, almost an hour. And in the end, I gave up anyway and chucked a bit of blue tack on it. <laughs> yeah. it, is, it is, you know, and obviously at the end of each month, um, we like, which well, show like kind of the best ones, more, you know. When I'm sort of uh, got a bit of spare time, I'll flick through and just chuck them all in our story and go through and you know give everyone a like. Yeah, cause, not... I mean, we're getting quite a few now, like in the hashtag and being tagged yeah. in a lot of things. So, um, it is we do have to sit there and go through them, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, just because you know, if you tag us in a photo like today and you don't see it featured for a while. It don't mean we're not going to feature it. <laughs> it's yeah. just we've got loads of others as well that I'll, I'll need to go through. So it's and, and we've got our own pages as well at the same time. Yeah, but... like so, but I've got loads. I've on my page. I've I've scheduled a load now, so I'm just I'm off of that. Oh, yeah. I've not even <laughs> yeah. taken anything. I've literally I'm just like run dry. I've not even got a review ready, and I need to do some reviews. So yeah. <laughs> But Luke, he's still on my. Well, I've done the review. He's literally still standing there. How I left it at the at the. End I of smashed the out. I smashed out about three reviews and edited them and scheduled them on YouTube now. So. That's all right. I, I just, that's what I'm doing now. I'm just when I'm in the mood, I'm smashing them out yeah. and then schedule them, and so I don't have to think about it. Because <laughs> more I think about it, the more I don't want to do it. Yeah, that's what I say. That's what I mean. Yeah. But. But as you can see, like, you know, we've got all sorts. People just, you know, he just took his Table cable to work. work. You know, you just take photo. People, it, all sorts in there. It's not just, like, amazing photography. You know, you just post whatever you want. <laughs> don't, don't post whatever you want, but post pictures of dioramas. Like yeah. this one. Behind the I scene. thought that diorama was absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just a case as well. You might take a picture, and it's not necessarily one you want to put on Instagram, but you just mm. chuck it on there. You know, just share share your pictures, like whatever. Share some ideas, even if it's funny or just mucking about. Yeah, like it, I that's posted. Really, that's really good, that one. That one. Yeah, that. That was amazing. Yeah, it's, yeah he's, he's he advertised himself too much. Don't like it. Um, <laughs> but you know, this one was good as well. Yeah. Um, from Alex, like Digirama, but it was um. I forgot what I was going to say now. Nothing. Oh, yeah, like you can just post. If you're doing like a, a day of photography, just post a picture of behind the scenes because then it shows people, all right, how how do I set up and stuff like that. John Jacobs asked to join. You're not from you, – you're from yeah. – you're from, you're from like the South America – like Southern America. Yeah, like, you're from Kentucky. Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe we'll think about letting you in. Yeah, um, maybe. But – you have to show us yeah, your passport just... to get gain, gain access. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, show us your green card. <laughs> um, but it's not just about like posting ma like amazing photos in there. It's a community at the end of the day. So post what post 
your behind the scenes, you know, your kit that you're using, stuff like that. And if you want to get rid of kit, we've got a buy and sell as well that you can use. So go for it. It is yours. It's your group, your yeah. page, as Steve says. Except with the it. admins. It's so ad- it's not yours. Ad- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not yours completely. <laughs> yeah. But I've got yeah, another yeah. idea. Um oh, what's your idea now? I wanted to do like obviously it's gonna take a build up of uh photos. But every feature we do for the next month two months maybe i'm gonna change the cover for because obviously it's just mine and steve's photos at the moment um yeah, it should be we're admin <laughs> but <laughs> i want to get a collection of everyone's photos yeah, start and, up into and, it. yeah and then start putting it all into into one collage, uh, collage. collage. Um, i think it'll look pretty good because then it'll show the difference in styles obviously you see difference in styles between me and steve mine are good and steve's aren't amazing and you can see which ones are steve's <laughs> but yeah, just, posing is yeah posing yeah your posing is quite good the bad sure is. <laughs> but yeah um obviously at the moment we've got quest is our um challenge and that will last day will be sunday for that so yeah get your photos in i've got an idea for mine but it depends on the weather if it stays dry or not you can't win it because it's your own it's it's your own yeah challenge. i can still go out and participate <laughs> i know i've participated in mine so yeah but it was shit. my ancestors came from england all of your ancestors came from england mate <laughs> every single one of them no well, that's they, they come from England as well, but it's you know, you just post it's not about right, I don't know what to do for a quest. How do I? And I think quest was probably quite an easy one to do. I to think a lot honest. of people liked it because it was all about people just going out, you know, just someone going on a quest, isn't it? Or yeah, or whatnot. So it's quite, an I easy mean, work. we've got a few guys in here that like their like kind of gory kind of horror type style shots as well so um yeah so keep an eye out there'll be challenges for all sorts of styles and that so if you're into a certain thing it'll probably pop up at some point so indeed indeed do might do might just one of the challenges might just do basic just back to basics yeah maybe yeah maybe Never know. Yeah. It's random. I use random word generators, and Quest came up on it, and I thought, "Oh, that's actually quite a good one." So I do that. But yeah, it's good. Should we talk about Mando? Yeah, we can do. Or should we talk about the worst one first? We'll talk about Bad Batch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can do. Spoilers ahead. If you're not yeah. in Bad Batch, okay. I mean. Let's face it, is is it is it even possible to spoil a bad batch? I think it does it, it's you know, I'm right really, isn't it? Yeah. It's just, uh... But um I'm gonna stop sharing the screens from that. But yeah, I think you yeah, know, bad batch. <sighs> I, I'll be it's honest. finally getting somewhere, but too late. It's, I don't even know. I just feel like it's taken two steps back. I just find like it's... Matt. Bad Batch, as much as the Bad Batch were really cool in the end of Season 7, Clone Wars, I was excited for their return in their own series. Mm. And then it was just a bit too much of an Omega kind of sort of like looking after her kind of thing. And I thought after Season 1, it'll get better. And then Season 2 come out, and I thought that we've progressed with Omega a little bit more. And then obviously she she took like five, nine, six steps back, you know, as if it was like still season one. And then um and the characters themselves all become annoying. They all just became repetitive characteristics of who they are. Yeah. And they never felt like they were progressing as characters. They actually felt a lot worse 
that there was this extreme tactical unit of Clone Wars and they just all seem to be fudging up because they got now got a five-year-old following them. And it's just like, oh. I think none uh, of them have had time to develop a personality. Yeah. In their own I, right. I can't even tell you my favourite, Crosshair, and he's not even always in it. Yeah. You know, and I just find all the others just boring. You know, he's the only one two with the background. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Cross is the only one that's got kind of developed some think, kind of personality. Yeah. You know, you could see him conflicting, you could see that kind of strength and that struggle in him that he wants to follow orders, but he, this is wrong. I've gone down the wrong path. I haven't got my brothers no more. And the others are just like Oh well, he's off. I'm gonna go over here. Go it's clobbering. We're gonna go over this way. You smash it things. Take about oh that's improbable, but and then there's Hunter just like <laughs> and, <laughs> and sniffing out like a dog. <laughs> yeah. I just like hands down, are you looking forward to season three? No. No. Same. I I just I wasn't even bothered for season two. No. Right. I, um, and I think even part of it was the look of the Bad Batch. Like their yeah. costumes. Like they just didn't even look cool anymore. And I'm just like. Oh. I think it the thing is I feel like their costumes change each week, don't you? Yeah, like it's like different shading. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just I just oh, found it really, really, really boring. I just thought, no, thank you. Um End of it, you know. We're talking about Bad Batch. If you haven't seen it, you know, I've seen a few people joined, but um, you know, the big sort of like, oh no, thing of it. I just, you know, with tech taking that tumble and fall, there was no consequence to him. We didn't see him fall. He's still alive. Nothing's going to change. The rule is on any kind of show if you don't see the person die they are not dead yeah they will always come back if you don't see them physically die hello mr b how you doing but yeah we we know he's not dead you know and we know that maybe his mind will get wiped but then he'll stumble across that woman that was going hello brown eyes you know <laughs> <laughs> and it's like <laughs> and you'll be like oh you oh It'll be like true love's kiss. Yeah. You know, we can you can just sort of see it and I uh, She'll go on the hunt for him. She'll find out that he's he's gone missing. She'll go on the hunt. Yeah. Find right. him as like some zombie kind of death trooper with glasses on. Yeah. I, I, and uh I just, yeah, I just when it said it was, when it when they said it was the finale, I was just like I was like, no. no. I was just like, is that the, that's how you're ending it? No, I'm not interested. Is that the finale? Yeah, that's it. It's done. Oh, I thought there was still more to come. No, that was the end. That makes it even worse. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, that was the end. It didn't. It, so that literally, the whole series could have just been those two episodes. Mm hmm. Well, and yeah. crosshairs ones, crosshairs episodes, and those two. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Yeah, yeah, it's not, um, it's not good. And then we got obviously the Mandalorian. I reckon now are... that Bad Batch will get cancelled. I don't know. I think they I haven't even done figures going, for it. Obviously, they're explaining the clone story, they're explaining it, and they, mm. um, I think, um. Yeah, Matt. Anyway, Mandalorian. Best bit of Star Wars since Clone Wars. Yeah. Easy. I mean, I haven't hated an episode yet. Mm. And I think this has been the best series of Mandalorian so far. Yeah. Easy. And I like it as well because, like, season two felt very kind of like, and. This week on today's special guest is Ahsoka. This special yeah. week's guest is Bo-Katan. 
it actually is more centered around Mandalorian this time. Yeah. You know, rather than a guest character, which is pretty cool. And I think I like it how it's focusing. It's not just Mando now, it's focusing on Bo. Mm. It's like doing two. So I reckon she'll get her own series, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. um, brilliant character. Like the way they've been portrayed in uh, Mandalorian is brilliant. Yeah. Um, and it's just really cool seeing all these Mandos fighting together and, and you know, all these different <laughs> the, styles. The only thing that gets me is like, oh, it's an ambush. You got jetpack. Get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. Right. Get away. Shoot down on them. Rain. Where's your little like warrior bead things? <laughs> right. You all got yeah. one. You could wipe out the whole entire lot within two seconds. But yeah, but then the episode would be over, wouldn't it? <laughs> I know, but that's what makes them Mandalorians. They got all these like really cool tech. Yeah. You know, but when they all get in like, oh no, it's little baby pirate guys with no kind of sort of like skill with and they're like oh no yeah. but it's brilliant still um and i like the way they're going with the kind of law behind the mandalorians mm. especially with their insignia and stuff yeah. like that and sort of bringing really them cool. hopefully bringing them all together and stuff as well so mm. yeah i think yeah i really really enjoying it every week you know, you've got those people that are making comments about Andor going, you don't need space battles and lights. Yes, we do. Shut up. Yeah. Go and watch something else. Go and watch like, I didn't. I, I watched one episode of Andor. That was it. Yeah. No, thank you. I like the concept of Andor, uh, but it was like, was it eight episodes? Yeah, I think so. Eight episodes of like a story that could be told in one. Like maybe two episodes and a character that no one cares about, <laughs> and a character that you know is going to die. Yeah. What is the point of watching yeah. it? <laughs> Unless they, they don't. And this what is what they're, they're gearing all up Bad Batch, and they'd be like, There's a 20 million Andors. That'd be the end of Bad Batch, and then the <laughs> Andors, this new clone, and then we're just going to keep it in these new series of Andors. <laughs> just loads of andors mm. today is andor they, too i'm glad that they have only said that there's it's confirmation that season two will be the last andor so i'm kind of hoping that they really just crank it up chuck a bit more star wars zest in there because i mean there was times of andor was really cool and the only time i thought it was really cool is when i hear a, a tie fighter scream go past and I'm like, oh shit i'm watching star wars yeah and then it's like oh <laughs> yeah i mean it, i actually look forward to mando like yeah. each week i'm like oh there's a new episode out yeah and i can't and wait it, to watch it. it progress enough and it doesn't mince around like no. If it was Bad Batch, they would go to one one planet and then we'll watch that episode while they're on that planet before then they go, all right, we're going to go to the next one. Mando's like, yoop, yoop, boop, 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 boop. and you're like, oh, that's all over and done with. Brilliant. Right, next. You know? Because at yeah. first I was kind of worried. It's... I was like, I want to go to Mandalore and I thought, is this going to be the whole thing about him trying to gain access to Mandalore? But first, I need to do these quests. I need a droid. I need this. I need that. I need this. And it was just like, oh, sod it. I've got this. I'll go. I'll, off I go. And it, and even in the same episode, you know, Grogu buggers off because there's like a fight on there and, and he comes mm. down and they, and they got that ending. And then it was like, it's just, it's just enough stuff. It seems a lot more finished. This, the third series obviously of mandalorian is a lot more fast paced than the last two have mm. been and everything obviously. is like not filler either it's just like there's that's what i mean like thing. the other two series had a lot of fillers in and that was to the point where it's like this is getting boring now come on mm -hmm. i mean um these was it episode three when they went to coruscant that was a bit boring mm. but it had enough at the beginning it spent enough time there to sort of elaborate a story backstory and current story and then it went back and finished it off with a little nice bit of topping of bo-katan and, and mandalorian again 
you mm. know, with her returning to the others. So, and they're all going to Bollock think... Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> I like that photo you put. That was brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Surely someone must have thought, hang on a minute, we can't call it that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I get did. it. I mean, it is dedication to Jeremy Bollock that played Boba Fett. Yeah. But maybe Jeremy. Yeah. Like. Or Jessica. You know, I'm going I'm gonna to go, I'm gonna have to go and talk to John after this, but did I, need, did I use the word Bollock? <laughs> Did they not it's get Bullock, it? isn't it? It's Bullock. No, it is, it's pronounced Bollock. Oh, is it? Hmm. I heard someone criticizing Rogue One and Andor as not Star Wars due to the lack of Jedi on the full stuff for you. Does Star Wars hinge his Jedi? Would you like other things too? Rogue One, I loved it. And they done yeah, it Yeah, I well. thought Rogue One was good. You know, when I first watched it, and it's not actually about the lack of let's just say Star Wars contented stuff. The only thing I found off of Andor was when it first started, it was a bit like, I guess it was a bit like Mandalorian in a movie because it was kind of like, there was no screen crawl, which kind of threw me the fudge out. Cause I was like, there's no screen crawl. Oh, we're in the movie already. I've, I've not kind of geared myself up. And then it was kind of like, here's Jin. Here, here she is over here. Now she's joining the rebellion. Now she's over in Jedi, and then she's talking to these monks, and then she's not. Then she's here talking to your favourite character. Uh, what's his name? Grief Carga? No. Saul Guerrero. Saul Guerrero. Yeah. Oh, I can't um, stand him. And then That's another like... one. Why did he turn up in Bad Batch? <laughs> what is the point of him turning up in Bad Batch? <laughs> and he looks completely different. To any other time he's appeared, right? Yeah. Carry on. Anyway, so, um, <laughs> yeah, so with Rogue One, Rogue One really grew on me. The more I've seen it, the more I actually put it now as one of my part of my original trilogy movies. Like, if I'm watching all the prequels and then the original trilogy, I will watch, yeah, Rogue One. I will In between. Skip solo, solo. I, I like, like solo, I do like solo, That's... but it's not a necessary watch. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't feel like Star Wars in a way. That's filmed where I work. No, but it's pretty much crap. So, <laughs> like you walking in the background. <laughs> yeah. Um, but Rogue One was really, really good. I just found the criticism that I have with Andor because that is really boring. Like, it was just slow. And I know people are like, oh, it's got a lot of story in it. But the story and the conversation was just so elonged out when it goes to Mon Mothma and she's like at another party moaning about her money. And the next episode, it's like the same. It's not even progressed from the last conversation. And she's at another party with the same conversation, with the same mm. person. And it was just going on and on. And it's not about space battles. It's not about that. But it is Star Wars and it does need that kind of bit in it i mean like look at the guy when he's in his spaceship and he's got all those lasers whipping off and all that and it was like whoa and then the next was like oh i got that money like <laughs> i just it's not about the criticism that star wars needs jedis all the time it, it's not about that at all it was just so too political it was like not political in a way, but it's like yeah. it was just it's like episode it. one, it was like Phantom Menace. It, yeah. it was too too much talk, 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 yeah. talk. Well, nothing those happened. Those three episodes at the beginning they gave us could have been at least two episodes or one and a half. And then when we think that he's gonna land on that planet and you think, oh, the next episode they're gonna go off and go in and infiltrate that place. All that conversation could have been done a lot more and they could have infiltrated that place and then they could establish some more of a story because I thought after that they were going to go and do more places and more places. But it was like spread over another three episodes before they even infiltrated that place. Mm. And then it was like he was in that prison and then it was like that. And then he went back home and then, then he went prison and then he went back home again. And then he got, it was just like, 
and by that time you could see what was going to happen with the mum doing the uprising and the fight and yeah I just, I just I just found it just boring and it's not because it had no Star Wars in it it was just boring because yeah. I like Rogue One and it's got no Jedi's in it or anything like that but I think Rogue One was good because it it was kind of that link we needed between Revenge of the Sith and New yeah, Hope. Even that was it. It was just like the start of the trilogy, you know, like yeah. where they got the plans, and it literally just goes whoosh straight into the next one. But <sighs> I mean, I'm not. Be... There was no, there was no stage in Andor that gave me the sense of feeling of Luke Skywalker's returning Mandalorian, or the hallway scenes where Darth Vader is at the end of a the corridor and you've got these guys just panicking like anything and Vader's like <laughs> do you know what that, I mean? That scene that's was like, brilliant. Yeah, and that's what makes Star Wars is because we've got these characters and we've got lightsabers, we've got space battles, we've got all that. That's what makes Star Wars Star Wars. Yes, it, it's such a big, ginormous, diverse thing that we know that these stories happen, that people haven't got these powers and stuff. But we don't watch Margaret who runs a little lizard market storm's coming annie oh <laughs> we do tomorrow well oh, depends on the storm tomorrow <laughs> <laughs> oh no. i don't know i just i feel like that's the way I, it's I going it, it was actually it was filmed really good it looked really nice it was Everything gritty it was really you know it looks high quality it was really nice it was really good um, every well, apart from when they went to Thamesmead and there was feet filming under a car park and that sort of thing, but which is the weird concrete areas, by the way. Um, if you're from America and stuff like that, it's like when the two spies met up, the two female lovers they sort of met up and stuff. That is literally like outskirts of London's architect which then threw me right out of it because i was just like oh my god i think that's where i kind of went to my tech college around there like <laughs> <laughs> little... so and that's what ruins it like when when i'm watching solo now i'm like the opening sequence that was filmed at the port i work mm. so now i'm just like well, my building's just over there yeah. like it's just, well, it, it takes even you out the of it. they're going to the imperial base is at canary wolf station isn't it yeah yeah like when they go through so yeah i mean it was just amazing how much they film in this country to be honest yeah i just found i I can both go on about it i get it why people really liked it but for me it it just needed a little bit more zest uh i i definitely don't always need jedis or sifts in the shows but having them tie in the loose ends together is great yeah but i think to be honest we don't the bits that Andor is really covering, it just needed to be about Andor and his journey to Rogue One. It didn't mm. really need to be about the uprise of the rebellion. And I get it that we want to see where the funds are and stuff, but that could actually be in a show of its own. But mm. having just Andor being arrested and then that, oh, it was Andy Circus, who I can't stand. <laughs> <laughs> it was just I don't, I don't know what it is about Andy Circus. I just I don't know. You know when you get those people, <laughs> just I don't yeah. know. I mean, he's just I think it's, it, what it is, it's like he was a CGI character in Lord of the Rings, but because Lord of the Rings done well, he, he's just like he's done it since. Yeah. Oh it's been like no Warren Davis. Do CGI characters like he can. Well, he was the first one. Give someone else a fucking go. No, he can yeah. only play King Kong. He can only be Snoke because he knows how it works. You know, like Yeah, it's like um it's like Warwick Davis. That's why I don't like Warwick Davis. He milks the fact that he was an Ewok. And you know, you've got no talent. You're just dressed as a bear. That's right, let's not let's, let's not go on a, a, a rant now about <laughs> well, season, two, season two of Willow got cancelled, didn't it? Well that's because he was in it. <laughs> I, I actually it was like it was really corny in stages, but I did kind of like it in other places. So I kind of 
want to see it, but they kind of left it at a massive cliffhanger and then it's like, it's not going to happen anymore. It's like, just do season two, finish it off. And they, that's when I hate when they do TV dramas, they do a cliffhanger and they are, no, we cancelled it for season two, I'm not doing it. That, that annoys me about all shows. Like, Netflix is known for that. They do that so much. Yeah. The amount of shows that I've watched got to like three seasons and, and then, cool. and it's one of their best, like, they've got one awards and everything. Yeah, yeah, it's one of wolves, but nah, just cancel it. And it's just, it, it just gets to the point where it's like, is there any point in watching anything? Mm. Northern Planet of Apes. Oh right, okay. Yeah. Oh, where's the mouse gone? I was trying to put that on the screen. Problem. Yeah, I was, I know he was, but I just feel like he's the only reason is the others. I mean, he directed. Carnage um Venom 2, that just shows you, isn't it? That shows you. <laughs> but he always plays the same kind of character, doesn't he? He's like, don't yeah. you know? They play them. They, they know, play yeah. themselves a lot of them yeah. do. It's like Sean Bean. Yeah. <laughs> I think once all the episodes are released, it feels more complete. Doing half hour to 45 minute shows are hard to always feel with action. Yeah. I you know, I, I get if people liked it, they like it. Yeah, I just. It, I mean, it, it didn't grow. You know, if I put it on, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna watch Andor. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what I do with Bad Batch. Yeah. I was like, I'll, I'll look up. Oh, he's oh he's he's falling. I see. All right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, that's what I do. I watch it, and then I'll probably watch Star Wars Theory, sort of like double take on it yeah. at the end, and I go. Oh, Oh yeah, <laughs> but um, yeah, I don't know. All right, should we end up yeah. there? Yeah, got over an hour. We have got it. two minutes over. You got to pay us overtime now. Yeah. I'm getting tired as well. But um, so um, you you finish it up. Go on. Oh, will you let me finish it up? Yeah, go on. Oh, thank you. Night, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll see. Hope you all like right. enjoyed. Obviously, subscribe to us. Go on, go on fill um, us with excitement. Come on, go on, Callum. Subscribe. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> in that bell on both our channels. You can follow us over on Instagram, and also if you're in part of the UK and you like toy photography, then then please follow our page on Instagram and Facebook as well. And until next time, take care. We'll see you soon. Bye bye. You can end it. All right. So like okay. Guys, take care.